what's up NCV here. First of all, my day was not that good because the first food location that I went to was not really accommodating. I mean, it's it's so sad to feel that kind of uh, service. So I decided not to include that in the vlog for today. Let's just forget about that and hopefully redeem ourselves here in this new place of Bakuran. And it's so amazing because it's just an open space where you can just do your Korean barbecue, cook your raw meats. And what's even more awesome about this place is that if you can see behind me, there is this trash wall where you'll be able to throw some plates, write anything on the plate, mash it on the wall. So yeah, this which is really relevant my mood for today because like I said it was not a good experience from the first food place that I went to so I am here at Jam Village of Maha this is located at the corner of Jade and Garnet Street anything else if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do you are doing me a big favor by doing so and also hit the notification bell so that you will be always notified from all of my channel's activities Right, so if you remember what my friend Ed told me, I should be grilling the plain meats first. That's what we're gonna do right now. It's kind of a bit late already, guys. So forgive me if I'm, forgive me if I'm in a hurry to like taste some of the food here. So I'm really hungry. Let's try to let's have a taste of some of the side dishes here. We have let's have a taste. Hmm, I love this one. First thing that you will notice as you take a bite on the space potato is the flavor of the adobo. And I love the aroma and the flavor of the sesame seeds on this one, which is really good. Mm. Now let's try the plain pork with just the pork itself. No sauce, no salt and pepper. I love how gelatinous the fat of this pork is. It really gives it an extra texture as you chew on this beautiful piece of pork that I'm eating right now. Let's have another one. Mm. Mm. This is one of the juiciest bites of pork that I have. I mean, as you chew further, a flood of umami juice from this great pork meat. After having that Samgyeopsal 101 with my friend Ed Yoon from my previous vlog, I feel more confident in, in eating the authentic way. Big thanks to my friend Ed Yoon, shoutouts to you sir. And now I'm here again having another Korean barbecue. Mm. Mm. Let's have a bite of my very own Korean taco. Mm. That really is awesome. The freshness of the lettuce is really giving it a very satisfying crunch. Mm. Now this is your chicken. Even their chicken here is really flavorful. This is pure chicken meat. No sauces, no salt and pepper. It's just pure chickeny flavor. And it's really good. Mm. And I love it because I cooked it perfectly. Now let's try the plain pork and the salt and pepper. I really love the meat when it's dipped into a salt and pepper. The normal pork flavor really elevates into this next new level of porkiness that is so tremendously good inside on your tongue. Mm. 
This is truly amazing. Now let's try the chicken and the salt and pepper. Mmm. Even the chicken levels up with its flavor after having the salt and pepper. Your chicken here is fantastic. So we ordered also their top bookie here. We'll see. Mmm. The top bookie is chewy, spongy. It has that Sam Jenny flavor. And there's also fish cakes on this one. Let's try the marinated pork. Mm. I love the flavor of this marinade because it's not sweet. Usually when you go to Korean barbecue places, when you see marinated pork or marinated beef, it's usually sweet. But this one, it's not. It's not sweet and it gives it a more of a porky flavor. I love this one. This should be the flavor of the marinated pork. You don't even need the salt and pepper on this marinated pork. Just by itself, it's really full of flavor. Mm. Now the marinated chicken. Mm. So the same marinade from the pork meat. Mm. And it has this a little sourness on the marinade, which is really good. It's really interesting. Mm. It has this little zing of tangy flavor. Now to try the marinated pork and the melted cheese. <laughs> mm. Their cheese here is cheddar cheese and it's so good because the combination of sour and sweetness from the cheese is really complementing the meat that you dip in. Let's try the marinated chicken. Mm. Their cheese here is really good with any kind of meat that you dip in. Let's take a bite of this overloaded Korean taco that I made. This one has the fish cake, kimchi, marinated pork, the cheese, and the steamed egg. Let's try this one. Mm. This one is so good. Mm. There's a lot of flavors that are working together to please your taste buds from the savory and creamy flavor of the cheese to the kick of spiciness from the kimchi and the fish cake to that mild saltiness from the steamed egg and then the very satisfying crunch from the lettuce is just gonna make your mouth beg for mercy every time you have a bite and all of those flavors are gonna cause flavor explosion and all your taste buds is doing at that point is just thanking you so much for giving that wonderful blessing that just entered your mouth. Mm. Mm. The cheddar cheese is really a good complement to the flavor of this marinated meat. As you chew further, the flavor combines and it renders more of that phenomenal flavor that is just gonna blow your mind till the end. Mm. I love the sweetness that this corn gives. It is a really a good addition to the flavor.
All right, so first of all, I've been to a lot of Korean barbecue places here in Davao. What are the things that would make me come back? First of all, they're marinated meat. Like I said, usually when you say marinated meat, sometimes it's really sweet. But here, it's not. It's just rich with flavor, very peppery, and it really exposes the flavor of the pork and the chicken meat. So I really love it. And also the cheese here, dude. The cheddar cheese that they offer here is really amazing. It really goes so well with the plain meat and even the marinated one. Aside from that, I would really recommend you guys ordering their steamed egg here. If you watched my video when I went to the 2D basement Samgyeopsal, I mentioned there that if there's only steamed egg in that place, it would really be the perfect Samgyeopsal for me. And lastly, the unlimited iced tea or drink that they give you here. That's one of the really important thing when you go to a barbecue place or Korean barbecue place because you'd always have something that would cleanse your palate like an acid or that would really reset your taste buds because yeah, you'll be eating a lot of meat. It's gonna be too oily every time you eat. The iced tea here at Bakuran is really good. Not your common flavor of iced tea. It's just that it's almost like a milk tea for me. They're located here at the corner of Jade and Garnet Street of Gem Village of Ma'a. If you guys have any suggestions for my next food location, just drop it down in the comments below. I would definitely read all of them and make sure to visit in all of those places. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is me as Dave and I'll see you on the next one. Today is going to be another legendary food trip. I am going at this pizza place which serves its very first 